Afternoon folks, Scott here at Wattsway Farms. Thanks for turning in. Today's going to be probably a short DIY easy video on how to turn the what I believe is the best pig water out there into a automatic pig water. Let me show you. As you can see the pig water as it is works pretty great. Not a whole lot of, I guess, wet mud underneath it, like people say it creates a big wallow. I think the key to that is to keep it high enough up so that they're reaching up to get to the water. I use this little plastic display bench and a couple of cinder blocks to get it up high, but it doesn't create a big wallow. So there's a lot of videos out there on pig waters and if you haven't seen the one I did I encourage you to check it out uh, because I believe I kind of stumbled across what's the best pig water out there if you notice on my pig water there's no holes drilled in the top you got the bung holes that came in it and that is it the key is these little unisil uh, I guess rubber gaskets that I found online. I'll try to put a link to that video in the description um, so you can see that. But as great as these little waters are, as you can see, I got two of them here. So these pigs have 110 gallons. Is Now that we're getting to the warm weather, they are drinking a bunch of water. So I'm having to, I mean, fill these up. I guess they don't empty it, but you know, they're probably drinking it down about here every day. Uh, I just added this second one yesterday. And then I had an idea that said, hey, versus keep stacking these and me having to come fill them up every morning or top them off, I want to come up with a way to make it fill up automatically. And I think what I found was probably a very easy, very inexpensive solution. Here's all the parts you're gonna need for this. So I ordered these float valves off of Amazon. It was a package of three were 15 bucks and so five dollars a piece. But actually since ordering that I found the exact well it appears to be the exact same thing for closer to three dollars a piece. So shame on me for getting in a hurry. I did go to Lowe's and got this adapter. This is a three-quarter inch um I guess water hose uh, by half inch uh, just standard threads. I guess this little um, half inch, half inch elbow threads on both sides. And then this is the lid off the barrel. A little bit of uh, Teflon tape you're gonna need and a pair of pliers and then a drill with a three quarter inch bit to drill the hole for this to go through. So basically you just drill the hole in that, that goes up through it then this attaches to that, and that attaches to that, and then the water hose, um, pretty basic. So I'll lend $15 um, add-on so I don't have to worry about the pig running out of water. So I've got the drill, the hole drilled in this, and I'm ready to insert this. Now this came with this little washer. Started to take it off, don't really need it because since this is gonna be installed in an upright manner, they don't really need a watertight seal. I guess if you were installing it this way, maybe it would matter. Now it also came with this little nut to go on the end of it, but because of how deep that is, if I use that little nut, I'm not gonna have enough threads left to attach this, but this is gonna fit pretty snug on there so i'm not going to use that let's see how it works i think that worked pretty good it's pretty snug on there like that it's got that rubber washer which i don't really think is needed so now let's attach the water hose adapter and this thing already be done and there it is finished product i mean that didn't take five minutes now because this is going to hang vertically this is adjustable but you know to twist it in it so it doesn't hit the 
side of the barrel. It's gonna have to be almost straight down, but I don't think that's gonna matter. So let's go install it and see how it works. Here's how it looks set up. Now I don't know if they make them, but I probably could have went with one of these with a swivel to make it easy to attach. But what I do is I'm gonna use this little short hose with a on off here and then hook that to the main hose. And the reason being for that is, I guess if I, the day before or a day or two before I move the pigs, I can just shut the water off. Or if I need to disconnect it and not having to go all the way, the, the other end of the water source for here is a several, couple hundred yards away. I've got some black H, uh, HDPE, that PEX pipe that runs actually into the woods and then up the fence line and then over and then down the other fence line up to my main pasture. So uh, anyway, so I'm draining these because if I'm going to have an automatic water, they don't really need two. And then I'm going to replace that base with that base and straighten it up. So we'll see if it works here in just a second. All right, so here it is hooked up and running. I'm sure you can't see that well maybe you can but maybe you can hear it water's going in there it's going slowly so it'll probably take a while to fill up but i guess that's okay i don't need it to go really fast just as they drink it to keep it full so we'll check back here in a i bet you it's going to take 20 30 minutes to fill up but we'll check back when it's done and make sure it shuts off actually built two of these pig waters here's the one in my piglet pen and as you can see something ain't quite working right i guess i might need to adjust that float because it's full and water ain't shutting off so i believe i know what happened so the float because of the barrel has to be pretty straight down but it should still work but i think what happened was because i had it kind of facing this way what was happening was as it floated up it was hitting the side of the barrel so that it couldn't uh close it off i think what i need to do is ensure that it's facing this way in the hole so that it'll work all right so i went ahead and figured i hook it to the hose and look at it and i think i figured out my issue my issue was not that it was touching the barrel it was that this goes the other direction see so i thought it would lift it up and turn it off this is how i have it but that's actually the on position so i need to flip this float all the way around the other direction because right now it's gonna stay on size design. I need it to go the other way. Alright, so having to float this way should work better. So now once it picks it up, it should shut it off. Alright, so this should do it this time. The float's pointing that way and it's bent out over, so it should lift up pretty easy i'm gonna drain a little bit of this out just to watch it fill up and make sure it shuts off all right so i drained a bit of the water out just a couple inches down but the water is back on on the hose now and nothing is coming out so we'll call this one done for now let's go make the adjustment on the other one before it overfills overfills all right so you can hear this one it's throwing up i think it's getting pretty close i don't know if you can stay in there or not but it's about for my fingers i think it's everything correct this should be shutting off in just a second and make sure that the float was pointed towards the inside of the barrel 
when I put it together. Yeah, it's getting quieter now. Pretty close now, right there. I got one finger in there. I think that was the answer. Moving those forks around. That is shut off now. There's just a trickle left. And as you can see, I think I'm in business now. So now, between my Osborne 45 bushel feeder, which I put 1,500 pounds of feed in this morning, which really would hold more. The, it's not supposed to hold that much. It said 1.2 or 1,200 uh, pounds is what it's supposed to hold. But so that with these 10 pigs that are in here now, plus the automatic feeder, these pigs really are automatic water it is off now not overflowing uh these pigs really shouldn't need a whole lot of attention for me for the next couple of weeks i mean i'll still do my twice daily herd checks but this at least lets me know they're not going to be without anything they need food or water in between um so again hope you like this this is a nice little $15 add-on if you count the times two uh, that I did was easy and if you haven't seen my video like I said for the barrel on how to make this water encourage you to check it out because it just doesn't get any easier than this so thanks for tuning in hope you have a good day hope to see you back here soon